Keep an eye for these brands. Welcome back to my channel, it's Jasmine. For those who are new, I am a full-time nurse working in Ontario, Canada, but I also like to resell on the US and Canadian Poshmark app as well as eBay. For today's video, I wanted to do another Bolo brands list. If you don't know what Bolo stands for, it means be on the lookout. So these brands are usually ones that have a high resale value and people are looking for. If you like reselling content like this, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. So the first brand that I want to talk about is Mage. Mage is a French company founded by Judith Milgram, who um, founded the company using the initials of her loved ones. Her pieces are a mix between modern styles as well as quirky pieces. Her pieces are more feminine, I would say, and people really like this brand. The next brand I'm going to talk to you about is Hatch. If it's one area of a thrift store that I barely ever look at, it's probably maternity wear. But if you do decide to browse this section, Hatch is definitely one of the brands that you should be looking out for. It was founded by a woman named Ariane Goldman in 2011, who found that there was a void in uh, maternity wear, so she decided to launch this clothing brand. She wanted to create pieces that women felt really um, good in in all phases of their life, including during pregnancy. It is definitely a more expensive maternity brand. Um, personally, when I was pregnant, I didn't really buy any maternity clothes. I think only one pair of pants. But there are definitely mothers and mothers-to-be that want to still look nice and presentable while they're pregnant, and Hatch is definitely one of those brands that they are on the lookout for. Another maternity brand that I want to talk to you about is A Pea in the Pot. So this brand alone doesn't resell for that high, but they specifically made a collaboration with Seven for All Mankind and made dojo jeans. Seven Fam dojo jeans alone um, resell for very high. They probably have the highest resale value out of all Seven Fam styles. So the collaboration between A Pea in the Pot and Seven Fam obviously resell for high as well. The next brand is Acacia Swimwear, and it was founded by Naomi Acacia Newworth in 2010. Acacia is branded by a few women that are all from Hawaii, I believe, um, and they wanted to create different styles of swimwear that any woman can feel confident in while being in the water. So their collection of swimwear is designed for different kinds of silhouettes, so every woman can feel comfortable in any type of swimwear. The next brand is an activewear brand uh, called Carbon 38. So if you've seen my What Sold videos, you know that I really like to resell Lululemon. And Lululemon is probably one of the only activewear brands that I like to resell. But if I ever come across this brand, I know to pick it up. Carbon 38 was founded by a woman named Katie Warner Johnson in 2012. She wanted to create a brand that was focused on fit, fabric, and function. So her designs make people feel powerful, stylish, while they are working out or just running errands in athleisure. The next brand is Cezanne, founded by Morgan Cezallery in 2013. This brand is a French brand, and they make a lot of their sales online as well as a few pop-up shops. I would say their clothing is quite feminine as well as a mix of a lot of quality basics. It retails for quite a bit, but their resale value is quite high as well. The next brand is Ula Johnson. So the founder of Ula Johnson is obviously Ula Johnson and she is from the States. I find that her pieces play around with a lot of ruffles as well as different kinds of silhouettes. So her brand is quite unique and sought after. The next brand is Amin Bing who started off as an Instagram influencer and slowly built her brand. She debuted her first collection in 2012 and it has since then grown from there. Her brand incorporates a lot of basics like denim, um, jackets, shoes, and graphic tees. The next brand is Doen, which is founded by a couple of sisters, Margaret and Catherine Cleveland, who founded the brand in the States. So they founded the brand in 2016, and their style is very feminine with um, a specific aesthetic, and is known for their flowy printed blouses and maxi dresses. And the last brand that I want to talk to you about is Alexis. It is a high-end women's wear line founded by a mother-daughter duo in 2008. 
Their clothing line um, is designed towards all aspects of femininity as well as sophistication and elegance. They are well known for their dresses as well as the fabrics that they use, um, elegant silks and textiles. So that concludes um, my 10 bold brands list for this video. If you ever found the brands that I mentioned, I would love to hear what the resale value was for you. Um, again, thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye! <laughs>